Hi, I'm Tom Kenny, Director of Communications for NASBA, the National Association of State Boards of Accountancy. I'm here today with David Vout for NASBA's Executive Chat Series. Welcome, David. Glad to be here, Tom. You know, I'd like to say personally and from all the people at NASBA, congratulations. Thank you. On this esteemed position. It's great. David, you served on the Iowa Accountancy Examining Board. Tell us about your role on the board. It was very fortunate that the governor appointed me to the Board of Accountancy and I was able to serve for almost nine years. And one of the key things that we did during my term was we actually helped shepherd through the legislature with the help of the Iowa Society of CPAs, one of the major rewrites of the Uniform Accountancy Act. So it was a great experience. Well, that's great. So at NASBA, we're doing more to build our relations with the societies. Can you tell us about your relationship with the Iowa Society of CPAs? I think it's important that boards of accountancy and the society work together because definitely when we were working with the legislature on rewrites of the accountancy law, there was no doubt they were looking for us to reach agreement on issues and so that close working relationship and meeting together and compromising on issues is a real key to getting legislation changed. Well, that's really great. At NASB, you served on and chaired numerous committees. Can you elaborate on some of those committees? Probably the one that stands out the most to me was the examinations committee. And the really interesting part for me was I was there when we tried to make that switch from a paper and pencil exam to a computer-based exam. And the really interesting part was we made it and it worked. And we had multiple players in, in the field that made that transition, but it was a smooth transition once we got there. Well, that's great. And the exam has grown internationally now in seven countries. And you served on the CPA Examination Review Board. That's a pretty important committee. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, the review board is actually there to make sure we're taking a look at the processes and the controls with all three of the parties involved with it. So that'd be NASBA, AICPA, and Prometric. And they take a hard look at the controls and the processes and provide that assurance to state boards so they can rely on the CPA exam when they're making their licensing decisions. So it's a very critical role for all state boards. Not only did you serve on numerous NASBA committees, and especially the exam committee, but you were chair of NASBA. Tell us about the initiatives you had as chair of NASBA. Well, it's interesting. As chair, you're obviously working with a lot of the other board members to develop those initiatives. And a lot of times, it's things outside your control that drive it. But the really rewarding thing for me was the actual launch of the computer-based CPA exam occurred during the term of mine as chair. And it was such an experience to see it from start when I worked on the exam committee all the way to finish to the launch. Well, it's a huge accomplishment. And I, I, I know you did great work, and I know you did a lot of work, so I thank you for that. Thank you, Tom. So state boards, why is, why is the state board network so important to the protection of the public? Well, you know, the state boards are out there to make sure the public is protected. And I think it's important for people to understand that in today's business world, companies operate in more than one state and in more than one country even today. And what state boards do is work together to make sure there's a network out there because CPAs also practice in more than one state. And it's that network that allows us to actually regulate the accountancy practice in all the states and make sure that we're protecting the public across the country. So you're in the world of standard setting, in the governmental world. Do you think that there's a role for state boards in standard setting? Without a doubt, because the CPAs out there are actually auditing clients and their clients are impacted by the standards that we set. And as I mentioned before, it's so important that we get that feedback and the input from stakeholders and their stakeholders and we need their input. You served as chair of NASBA in 2004. A lot has changed in accounting world in eight or nine years. If you were chair of NASBA today, what initiatives would you have for the boards of accountancy and NASBA? I think definitely as the board is working right now on the international delivery of the CPA exam, that is a really huge step forward for the CPA exam. And the other area would be the private company council. Without a doubt, this is a new area in standard setting, and I think it's so important for NAS to be involved in that standard setting process. NASBA's annual meeting is in October, and I heard you had a conflict and you can't make it. We asked you to speak, and I'm sorry you can't join us. But if you had to give a 30-second speech to our membership, to the boards of accountancy, what would you say? I would say thank you for the public service role you do in carrying out protection of the public. It's such a critical role and I really appreciate what each and every board member does. And stay involved. Stay involved also in the standard setting process. We look forward to their feedback and input. Well, David, I just want to say thank you today. Congratulations again. 
I appreciate your time. Tom, thank you for taking the time to speak with me, and be sure to tell my NASBA friends hi from Dave. I definitely will. David Vout, former chair of NASBA, newly appointed chair of the GASB. This is NASBA's executive chat series.